Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I want to start this video off by saying that I actually already recorded this video. I got this new microphone but I messed it up. I didn't check on the settings before I recorded and I recorded the entire hour and a half of this video with my voice being drowned out by the music in the game. So now I'm gonna start it over. <laughs> what am I gonna start over, you ask? Since spooky season is upon us, I thought I would do a video for each week, like a spooky video for each week. And I wanna start it off with um, a Breathe Out the Weird video, Vampires Edition. Um, so this is what we're gonna do. Um, some of the rules I placed were, were I can only use vampire sims to breed with my vampires and I cannot use the sliders, I cannot touch anything genetically about the sim. I can change um, like a few things like maybe the skin tone, maybe the eye color, um, maybe the hair color to make the generations make sense. I'm not counting the first sim as generation 1 just because she's it's, it's going to be the starting sim so the first sim that is the result of the breathing is going to count as generation one until we get to generation five generation five will be the final one so these are the rules um our options are limited when it comes to ugly vampires honestly because most people just make really hot looking vampires like look at this beautiful looking vampires when I just want a spooky looking vampire. I suppose I can also make my own. Where's the fun in that? Okay, so this one is breathe out the, the weird. And this is what she looks like up close. This is going to be hard to fix. And I'm actually really excited because it's more of a challenge that way. This is her body type amazing and i want to start it off with my sim my handsome handsome sim this guy i'm gonna start with him and then i'm gonna check out other sims in the gallery let me give you some pants real quick just so you can woo everyone and then you can leave i'm sorry you have to mate with this monstrosity we need your dna we need your help this is always the most stressful part for me because you see the child look cute and then you know you get you have to skip. I'm going to skip three times every time to keep it interesting. So, one, two, the eye, oh my god, okay, fingers crossed, three, give me a good one. Oh no, you tried. I can already tell this girl looks exactly like her mom. Okay, she's just splitting up an image of her mom. That's perfect. Let's see what you look like as a young adult. Oof. You did your best, Sakuria. Thank you. You may rest in peace now. Wow. Wow. Okay. I usually um, dress up and edit all of the generations, not only the final one. So I'm gonna dress up Gen 1 over here. I'm gonna dress her up just to give her a chance. Okay, your eyebrows are nice. There's no way to fix your eyebrows, so j let's just move along and give you skin details. Um, her mouth corners are super small. Just so you guys don't say, I never gave any of them a chance. I'm, I'm even going to give them a blush. I'm gonna make them cute. <laughs> okay. And the eyes I'm using for, um, where is that? Okay. The eyes I'm using for the vampires are these ones, just because I love the swatch so much. It gives them this dreamy look, so I'm gonna use it. Um, and then I'm gonna vampire them up. This is an absolute disaster, but I'm living for it. There you go, darling. You look fabulous. And let's give you some blood because you're a vampire and you drink blood. I'm gonna be honest and say, like, this is worse than my, um, than my first attempt. I'm gonna show you the whole clip, actually. I'm gonna show you the whole clip here, super sped up. Oh no, are we going to have issues here? Okay, this is good. This is fine. I like this. Okay. I'm also gonna give her some veins. She does have a lot of color in her face. 
So I'm wondering if I should take away some of the color from her face. Maybe something like this, right? She is a vampire, like she wouldn't have like such, you know, beautiful glowing skin. Or maybe they would. I don't know. Okay, as for the dress, that hourglass figure, oh my goodness. Okay, Gen 1 is done. Now we're gonna have to find her a victim. I mean, a partner <laughs> to breed with. I really want to use her. She looks gorgeous. Okay. Whoa. Okay, I don't have any of her CC. Her proportions are good. At any point, the results could shift because when it comes to Sims genetics, the child could... Whoa, this child has no teeth. The child can take entirely to one parent and not be a mix of both parents. Like, this one looks cute. I think this one, I, I can work with this, but no. We said on the count of three. So, one. She's cute. Two. Oh god, she's not cute. Three. Whoa, that's, she's, that's the worst one. Oh god. Jillian, thanks. You did nothing. <laughs> This child looks terrifying. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. oh my god, this is even worse. <laughs> this is what her mom looked like, and this is what she uh -huh. looks like. I mean, it's a small improvement, it's just... She still looks terrifying. I'm still gonna do my best, I promise I'm gonna do my best. Aw, that hair is so cute. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give her this hair just because it makes her look a little cute. She honestly looks like the family member everyone makes fun of. <laughs> I feel mean for saying that, but she really does. There you go. Now, let me go get you a very attractive partner to breed with. Oh, wow. Okay, she's cute. Okay. We're going to breed you with your new vampire girlfriend who we just met today is it getting better? it's not getting better like <laughs> okay let's hope what, what was her name? Ju Julianne? Julianne let's hope you fix it oh god no okay one two three give me a good one give me a good one <gasps> her eyes are fixed the eyes are fixed! Oh! Julianne! You did it! <laughs> oh my god, Julianne! Everybody give Julianne a round of applause! What a queen! You know what? You get to escape this family. I'm not going to let them devour you. You get to escape, you get to go live your life. You fixed... You fixed the eyes! Like, yeah, her, her face is still weird, but the, the weird eyes are gone. Now I actually have something to work with. And this is Gen 3, so we have two more gems to, like, sort this whole thing out. Um, you're going to be blonde because your mom was blonde. Okay. Um, breathe out the beard. Oh, also the body is fixed. I wasn't paying attention, but look. My love, let me give you your vampire teeth and um, your veins. Okay. This could end up like better than I originally thought because um, in my first, uh, the first time I tried to do this challenge, I couldn't, I couldn't get the body right. Like the the body just stayed weird. Um, like you saw in that clip ooh look at those boots um so yeah i couldn't fix her body but here like the body already looks normal like it's normal body proportions um so there she is gen 3 and now we need to breed you with another good looking vampire are you a vampire I don't know, I don't know his face. I don't like how sunken in his cheeks look. Should we just go for it? Okay. Sunfong. We need your help. You actually have pretty eyes. Okay, your cheekbones are not that bad. Your side profile is not that bad. Okay, he actually looks promising. Do not let me down. 
okay, you're going to marry into a... Well, you're not going to marry. You're, you're, you're going to breed with this very spooky vampire family. But here's the thing. Here's the, here's the thing. Something. If you give them an ugly baby, they're going to eat you. They're going to kill you. If you give them a good-looking baby, they're going to set you free. Just like Julianne. So you better give them a good-looking baby. Your life depends on it. Okay? One. Two. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay. Moment of truth. Deep breath in. Something. You got this. Three. Give me a good one. Give me a good one. <gasps> Something. Did you... Something weird is going on here, but I think the curse is fixed. <gasps> Something! Oh my god! He did it! <laughs> you get to be set free! You get to survive! He is handsome! You know what? I want to keep him. Okay, happy to have made your acquaintance. Okay. Oh, she's shorter than everyone else. We did it. This is not this is not even the final one. We have one more to go. Let me just quickly give her her vampire makeover. It's probably the intimidation. Like intimidation worked. He knew if he didn't give us a good baby, he was never going to leave. And he did. Okay, that's cute. There you go. Um, should I give her... Is this cheating? Like, if I used these ears... I'm not gonna consider this cheating. Um, and for your hair... Oh, that's cute. That's cute and vampire-like. Yeah, I never, I don't think I ever used that hair, so I'm gonna use this one. So, this is Jin 4. This is what she looks like. She's cute. And, okay. As a reminder, this is the starting sim. This is what she looks like. This is level, like, extreme. There's easy, there's normal, there's hard, and then this is extreme. And then this is Gen 1. We fixed her up, made her look all pretty. But still, you know, she's cuter than her mom, but... There's still more we could do, like, the body was a little bit tragic. And then, we got this baby, this little redhead. She's really cute. She's, um, in their family she was the cutest, but they would still, like, make fun of her because she was cuter than them. That kind of made a divide and she felt, like, left out a little bit until this gorgeous thing came along. And the rest of her family, they were like, Whoa, okay, your child is gorgeous. You did a really good job. Like, you can tell she's from our, our bloodline, but she's gorgeous. Like, she's one of the prettiest ones. Maybe someone got a little bit too jealous and burned her face. Who knows? And then she went along to bring this beauty into the family at this point. Everyone is jealous and everyone's just like, How did you do it? Gentry, how did you get such a gorgeous child? And there she is, Gen 4. Now, <laughs> the moment I'm dreading, and you can tell I'm putting it off, the final Gen, Gen 4. We're gonna need a very good looking sim for this. And at this point, I feel like I ran out of sims to use, but I'm still gonna do my best. Let's see, I really spent a very long time just staring at my screen looking for a good-looking vampire. I do not want to mess this up. Also, you see, this guy, his name is Dante Sharp, but I bet you this is a uh, Caleb Bator base. I know those eyes anywhere. I know these eyes. This is Caleb Bator. This is made from a Caleb Bator base. I bet you anything he's made from a Kilbator base and he keeps showing up. So I can't shut up about it. Okay, she's cute. Okay. Her body proportions. Okay, this could be a little bit extreme. 
Ah. Uh, I don't know, guys. Is this a good choice? Remember, Dana? If you don't give us a cute looking baby, family's going to devour you. If you give us a good looking baby, you get to go free, unharmed. Give us a good looking baby. Or else. Moment of truth. One. Two. And three. Okay, she's crying. She's crying. Why are you crying? Do you not look cute? Is that why you're crying? You look cute! Wait. You're short too. Okay, that's that's fine. She has no chin. But she's cute. Do we let Dana go free? Did she do a good job? Okay, Dana, you get to go. And your daughter. Let's give her a makeover. She's really short. I like the idea of her, like having her face like sliced and also since this is the final um this is the final sim we're gonna go like all the way we're gonna make you look so fabulous that people don't even notice you don't have a chin gonna make her look bloody and scary i mean she's the supreme right she's gen 5 <laughs> maybe we'll, i'll give her blood here to hide the fact that she has, her chin is so small. Um, also, I said I was gonna give her the cool looking ears. The cool looking vampire ears. Let's also give her the vampire teeth. I really like this hair because um, I used it earlier on my other sim. And yes, this red. Oh my god. She looks stunning. I want to show you guys the dress. I'm so excited to show you the dress. There we go. <gasps> and it comes with... Oh. It comes with gloves. It comes with red gloves. So all she needs now is her like necklace. And I was thinking something like that. And then her earrings. And I believe I have match. Yes, I do. There we go. This is our Gen 5. Gen 5. There she is! Let me know what you guys think. I think she's gorgeous. Her face could have been cuter to be fair, but I think we did the challenge successfully. We did breed out the weird. So we started off with this sim. Weird proportions everywhere. This face. Remember we started this challenge on extreme mode and then gen number one. This is her face. And then they brought Jen number two. She's cute. Not as cute as she could have been though. Because her daughter was cuter than her. To the point where she got jealous and she burned her daughter's face. Never mind the backstory. I just thought it would be funny to come up with a story for her burns. Um, but she's cute. Jen three is cute. But the plot twist was Jen four. She looks so cute. And look at this, she has a chin as well. I don't know what happened to her daughter. She's not jealous of her daughter, to be fair. Like, I feel like... Oh, we need to make her short again. Forgot. She's not jealous of her daughter, but her daughter is still cute. And she got the job done. We brought out the weird. So, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys would have done differently. If you would have done anything differently. And if you guys try out this challenge with only the vampires, I would love to see it. Um, my Twitter and my Instagram are linked below if you want to tag me or mention me and show me your creations. I would love to see them. I would love to see if you guys were able to do a better job than me. Thank you so much for watching the video. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would appreciate it very much. And I'll see you again soon. Bye!